What's up, everybody? It's Comics Addiction coming at you with another video. Um, so let's talk about a uh, Torpedo Comics Collectors Convention. I don't know, they had a long title, it's hard to remember. <laughs> uh, been excited, been man, selling a lot of books the last two weeks just to make some quick money and get some of the books I've been wanting to get without messing with my own money <laughs> and that's fun let me tell you guys that is fun at first I used to be like nah nah how could people just get rid of the books like that how could now I'm like I'll move some books to get some bigger books or some other books that now as my taste in books has changed um I don't mind selling some of the newer ones I sold a my entire collection of the Zatanna or Zatanna 1 through 17, I believe, the Adam Hughes covers. Got rid of them. Um, one of the books I was going to throw a surprise to one of the random mystery box buyers, which ended up not happening, was a uh, Amazing Spider Man 20, which kind of happy I didn't now because. <laughs> I bought it for cheap because uh, it's a complete story but missing an ad page and I put it up right away uh, I quadrupled my money so that was a big surprise I realized that I don't mind collecting spider-man I just didn't want to have an incomplete copy I was like ah, let me just go get a complete copy later uh, torpedo the collectors convention it was at the Hollywood Palladium that was that was interesting it was dim. There was a uh, definitely a lot of sellers. Some sellers had some prices that were whew, out of this world, and some sellers had decent pricing. Yeah, so found some great deals. Um, like I said, I'm recording this on a Sunday, just exhausted. So I'll probably load it up, if not Monday, because I'm gonna be spending time with family. I did kind of ditch them Sunday, <laughs> most of Sunday. Um, so I'll probably upload this by Monday or Tuesday, and then I'm gonna go pick up my books on Tuesday, so I'll do a video by then. Um, so yeah, it's 1.30 in the morning, let's get started. Oh, by the way, before I show the books that I found, including this one, there's something really awesome that my mom hit me out, she called me, she's like, hey, uh, I found something that belongs to you. And you know what? I just want to show it real quick. Bam. Look at that. Some old school Pokemon cards from when I was a kid. Uh, I want to ask a question. Uh, first editions are the ones that first came out? Or did they all have to have that first edition? Because that I know they just had to have the one out of one of two because after as time went by that 102 disappeared and turned to a whole different number yeah you got the classic Pikachu Polyrath the Mew from the movie Hitmochan yeah so that was really really fun to go through my folder of all my Pokemon cards from man when I was in middle school and in the 90s holy macro that made me feel old so without further ado let's get started uh drove up to hollywood like i said on my instagram i can't stand hollywood i hate that place traffic is terrible the people all have attitudes they think they're the best i'm like shut up um but uh so i went there I've never been to Hollywood Palladium. They're giving away donuts. That's pretty cool. And one of the, the booths that I hit up, I found some books right away. And it's funny because I was trying to get a deal from him. And he was not budging. He was like, no, I think it's fairly priced. And it, it was decently priced. I wouldn't say it's an extremely great deal. <laughs> they were closer to eBay prices, so I was just like, eh, let me, 
I was trying to get a discount. It was not some ridiculous, like, oh, let me get 30% off. It was more like, let me get, like, 12% off when I did the math. Uh, got the Strange Tales number 143. I always thought this was a great cover. Excited to pick it up. By the way, I'm excited to have one of these. I always see people putting their books on something like this. Uh, the only reason I'm moving is because uh, some of the other books that I bought there were in top loaders. And so I might put them there just to protect them for now. Because I don't have them in a box yet. X-Men number 35. And I believe that's the first time he was on the X-Men. If I'm not mistaken. I got a great deal on this book. All these books are from the same guy. Um... He didn't want to do the 12%. He actually did the 10%. I was like, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll still take it. Um, I, this book is hard to find. And the shape that I, this book is in, um, there's some marble chipping on top. It's probably like a 4.5, maybe 5.0. Um, this book always goes online for like 80 bucks, 85 and in this shape. So I was just really excited to get a good deal on this. I also got uh, Amazing Spider-Man 43, Rhino on the Rampage. Um, I'll say it right now and I didn't get them. I had a chance at Amazing Spider-Man 100, uh, Silver Surfer number 4, Silver Surfer number 1. Um, I, I came in with cash. I was ready to spend. And... Um, I just didn't feel like some of the deals were there, but the books that I did get, I'm extremely satisfied, like this Rhino right here. It's the second appearance of Rhino, I believe. 42 is his first appearance. My friend hates how they drew his face. <laughs> he said it just looks like an old man. They tried so hard to make him look like a beast. I agree. Uh, another book I picked up. Fantastic Four, number 60. This is still the same guy, same vendor. Um, just a great cover. Great uh, Doctor Doom and The Thing cover. For whatever reason, I always thought he looked really cool um, in Silver Age form. By the way, I was supposed to look for a couple of comic book people that may have... They said they were thinking of going, but they never reassured me if they were or they weren't. But once I got there and just started looking at books, I was just like, ah. I, I completely forget. I get so into hunting. I found a Fantastic Four, number 54. Like I said, when it comes to a Human Torch... Man. Sorry. You see the glare of the ceiling fan? It is freaking hot over here. And I live by the beach. So I could only imagine people that live in in LA or in in the valley. Just great books. Uh, this one had a little bit of marble chipping. So this one is really cheap. Couldn't say no to it. The book's complete. It's just a chipping, and the cover's not white. It's something I would definitely upgrade later on. But for the price that it was at that moment, I said, yeah, let's do this. And the last book I picked up from that guy was this beauty right here. I was surprised at the price he had and how clean it looked. That's Fantastic Four, number 55. Uh, the only thing wrong with this, uh, once again, chipping on top. Other than that, Man, this book is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I had a chance at a Fantastic Four 49 for... Uh, he had it for like 320 There was some massive chipping here. The pages look brittle. I was terrified to open it. Uh, 
one of the staples was popped. I was like, it's not worth 320. I was like, no, I'm good. I'll wait. Maybe a year ago I would have jumped on it. I've learned patience. You guys watch Metarog, Bubs, and DS? It will just tell you, man. Patience. Patience is a key. Especially Silver Age. There are plenty of Silver Age out there. And at one point or another, you will find some Silver Age. Uh, I was looking for some Golden Age. And holy macro, man. Some of the prices were ridiculous. I was like, nope. It's not going to happen today. I'm not dropping that amount of money on. I couldn't find any specific book that I like. Or that grabbed my attention. So I was like, uh, I'll, I'll wait on that. So these were my pickups from, sorry, I guess I was really late, <laughs> from that one guy, one vendor, uh, said he was a little tight on budging, but I guarantee he would have budged at some point if it was later on. Uh, I had taken this book as to trade, or see what I could get at, to trade with for another key. And the more I looked at it, I was like, I can't. This is my number one on my list for a reason. I, I just can't. And to my surprise, so many people were like, hey, are, are you trading that? Are you selling that? Are you trading that? Are you selling that? Can I look at it? And I could just see a lot of vendors would just admire this book. Like, oh, man, this is a nice book right here. Are you looking to trade? <laughs> and then I realized I was like, I, I don't want to trade. I don't want to sell. I actually had put this book on sale. Not on eBay, but on OfferUp. And somebody offered me 75 bucks. I was like, I'm not a store. Go F yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mind people who haggle. But when you haggle come at cheap for a book like that, I'm going to sp speak my mind. Um... Another book that I had been looking for quite a while. Finally found it there. In really nice shape was uh, War is Hell. This book right here. Whew, this is such a gorgeous cover. Um, you got the little girl terrified. It's two soldiers trying to kill each other. And death looks like. Or the Grim Reaper is just coming for both of them. It's like, I don't care who's going to win. You're both going to die. Um, you got Death right here with a bright red cover in the background. Um, like I said, if you, I'll probably be taking pictures of these books so you can get a close-up look on my Instagram. Um, if you don't know it, I'll shout it out real quick. It's uh, Comic Book Crackhead. At Comic Book Crackhead. It's a gorgeous book. Uh, that's a book I bought from, I think his name is Red Hood. Yeah, Red Hood. You can probably find him on Instagram, so he's, probably, he's pretty known. Um, let's see. Red Hood Comics. He's a cool guy. Um, the other book I bought from him, and it's a beauty. It's... Damn Man with Robin, The Teen Wonder, uh, number 237, Batman, and that's just, man, that's a beautiful cover, red cover, Grim Reaper, Neil Adams, Neil Adams is there, Neil Adams is everywhere, that man is hustling, the more I think about it, how people talk about he's a dick, he charges too much, I'm like, so, what about, uh, some of the great artists that passed away broke. Nobody knowing or forgetting about, had already forgotten about him. Or all of them. And then they're like, oh man, he passed away. He's such a great artist. I'm sure there were some that remember him. Or not him, but all the artists that had passed away broke or struggling to make uh, ends meet. You know what, Adams? You know what? I salute him, man. He's hustling. People want to pay for the signature, for the, his sketch or whatever. He's just making sure he's making his money and living comfortable. And I respect that. Um, but I refuse to talk to him because <laughs> I just want to admire his art. I don't want to get yelled at or treated like crap. 
That's just a beauty. By the way, I had never been to a con where it's just normal. I wish I could have recorded. I don't know. Like I said, I was just so focused on getting books that I forgot to record or take pictures or anything. And it's one thing I wish I could have taken a video of is I was digging through slabs. And it was funny. I was like, oh, man. I was like, I have a, say that's a slab. I was like, man, I have a... Hulk 181 9.0 in my hands. It's not even on the wall. It doesn't even deserve to be on the wall. And I looked up. The man had a freaking um, Batman number one 8.0. Are you kidding me? Batman 1 8.0 Golden Age. Whew. Yeah. I was like, yeah, 181 deserves to be in this crapshoot. <laughs> doesn't deserve to be in the wall next to a Batman one. And uh, I held uh, three X Men ones. A bunch of Batman Golden Age. The Batman Golden Age books were overpriced, ridiculous. Um, there's a book I was looking for, and on eBay goes for a 4.0. I've seen go for 900, and they had a 2.5 for almost the same price. And it's where a uh, Joker has a bucket of paint, red paint falling on his head with a ladder hitting him. It's a great cover. I, I plan to get it probably on eBay. Uh, I'm not sure I want to overpay at a booth or at a con. But it was just awesome just to hold so many big grails in my hand that did not deserve to be on the wall apparently. So those were the two books I got from uh, Red Hood. A book that I did not expect to get. It's on my top 10 list. Yeah, you hear that? That's a slap. Um... I definitely want to get a grade higher, but this guy, he, I, I didn't buy because I felt bad or pity. I definitely want this book. It's just the guy, I'm going to leave this here for now. A lot of the booths were really packed, crazy, everybody's going crazy, pushing, elbowing, and... The, he, he has a corner booth and nobody's paying attention to him. And I'm like, oh man, let me take a look. Is it overpriced? It wasn't crazy overpriced. It was decent. And I got a Doctor Strange 169. I will not tell you what the price I got it for. Just because, I don't know, I guess people get mad or stuff like that. Irritated. Let's just say I got it way below $100. 4.5. Way under $100? Sold. Um, extremely happy I got this. You can tell. Uh, it's like a scratch or something. I don't know what's going on there. Has a, I'm definitely learning from Silver Age grades. Just because you see this crease right here. There's a lot of marble chipping right here. A lot of uh, ticks. But I'm learning to kind of grade and what people will see as a 4.5. What's CGC or overall. Um, really ecstatic I got this book. It was on my top 10. Just happy. Um, this, when it comes to sentimental value, if you, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram on at crackhead, you saw that I... I consider this my number one pickup when it comes to sentimental value. And that is the Tina, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Leonardo. That's a gorgeous cover. Look at that. That speaks my childhood right there. I found Michelangelo number two. Look at that. I think I, I want to get the slab just admire the art I'm gonna read the stories and then just protect them because something happened <laughs> that it drove me almost nuts but uh, before I got there I saw somebody pick up a book and the guy just picks it up and say it's in a bin and just lifts it up lifts it up like that and I was like 
What the bleep? I was like, how do you handle a book like that? I was like, if you're coming to the show as a collector, you should know better than to handle a book. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting, but at that moment, I was like, please don't buy it. You don't deserve to have it. He checked the back of the price and just put it back, and I thought, it was like, hopefully it's not that crazy expensive. It wasn't. And I was talking to the guy, just having a good conversation. I offered him a price for all four, and he said, done. Done deal. Which, by the way, I couldn't find four. It was separated from the first three. I still on Nutello. And I was like, oh, man, I'm going to miss number four. But no, I found it. Uh, bam. Number four, Raphael. I want to say somebody has already shown this, this set of books, but I can't remember if somebody did or not. I'm just extremely, extremely happy I found it. Raphael, Ninja Turtles. Just a beautiful cover the Donatello it's a pretty good close up if you're not into Ninja Turtles you can forward for that's fine but I'm a hardcore fan so you're just going to have to forward <laughs> if you like it then you're definitely enjoying this I like how it's the outside is black and then you got the, the yellow background with the red and the yellow name Michelangelo. That's really cool. Last but not least, Leonardo. I wish this could have been red right here. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong and this is what makes it such a great cover. Which in the back of the cover, it's a full cover. Uh, you got more of the Foot Clan. Really awesome. That's definitely, to me, when it comes to sentimental value, my number one pickup. Uh, another book that I definitely, definitely did not expect to pick up. For whatever reason, I did. It's a, it's a cover I loved, and I always thought it was beyond expensive. But at this grade, at this price that I found it for, because they had a 6.0... That was maybe like $75 more expensive than this 6.5. And I still got a little bit cheaper. It was uh, X-Men 94. Uh, it's a Gil Kane, Dave Cockrum cover. It's uh, X the new X-Men Begins. And it's the second appearance of Nightcrawler, Storm, Thunderbird, and Colossus. Giant X-Men number one has kind of... Got a little too crazy. I'm going to stay away for now. I could have bought it. This time I could have bought it, but no. Went for a, this bad boy right here. And it's signed. A gold label. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about a gold label. I know some people love it. I, myself, and eh, I like the blue label. But the deal that I was getting on this book signed 6.5, hundred almost a hundred dollars cheaper than the blue label 6.0. I figured you know what, let's do this. By the way, it's not a practice; just the bag itself is tore up. Um, I myself am gonna be selling next. No, not next week. Yeah, next week, it's Sunday. So next week. Uh, well, technically it's already Monday morning. I don't know, whatever, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an awesome pickup. Uh, couldn't be more excited to have picked it up. And the last book I picked up, uh, I had gone around like three, four times. I was like, eh, I think I'm ready to go home. My stomach was hurting a lot. I don't know why. I, my stomach's sensitive when it comes to chili anything acidic so I was like uh, I'm tired already it's 90 degrees it's hot in here actually it wasn't that hot inside it was once I stepped outside that got worse um the last oh my gosh I 
25 minutes. Last book I got, I kept on looking at it, kept on looking at it, told him to take it out. I checked, inspected everything, and decided, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just end this day with a bang. And that is... Batman 251. Uh, another Neil Adams cover, a beautiful Neil Adams cover. They had this as a fine... I would probably agree. Maybe a fine minus. But, uh... Just one of my favorite covers. I never thought I would own both of the new Adams covers that I wanted. I know Raza Ghoul is a popular cover. It's not on my top want list. Not as of right now. Uh, 251, 227 were my priority. And I'm just extremely happy and grateful that I found officially both copies. For whatever reason, they both have the dog ear right here. You can't tell on this one just because it's a gray light color. But you can see the break <clears throat> right there. You see that? But I figured for the price, the discount I got on it. Because don't be afraid to ask for a discount. Now, if you ask for like, say it's a $100 book. Amazing Spider-Man 100 goes for like 100 120 And you say, hey, I'll give you $30. they will be offended. they will be pissed and they will not try to make a deal with you. I tried to ask for a a discount where they might counter or they might accept. It's not like a ridiculous discount. Yeah, guys. So that was Torpedo uh, Collector's Convention. Really ecstatic to find all this stuff. Like I said, when it comes to emotional value, this right here. Uh, got the Doctor Strange. And... I just want to show something else real quick. Bam, look at these. Share. Ooh. Those are beauties right there. 15, 20 centers. So those are the books I picked up. And until next time, guys. Later.